Good evening, yeah. all of you. Uh, thank you very much for having me here in your middle. Uh, my name is Carol Donkers, or people here in Ghana call me Kay Bright. And I'm born and raised in the Netherlands, but my heart has always been beating for Africa. And that started when I was around 12 years old, when I read the book Roots about the slave Kunta Kinte. And I saw him growing up in his uh, village as a very happy boy. And then he was transported as a slave to the United States of America. And the rest of his life he spent in captivity. And I saw him growing up from a young, happy boy into a very powerful and persistent, determined young man and man. And since then I couldn't understand anymore why people from my part of the world would need to go to Africa to help it develop. I could only see powerful people and potential in Africa and I decided that one day I would go to Africa to explore it myself. That is what I did in 2007. I ended up in Tamale and I lived in a host family for nine months, an Islamic family. I'm baptized as a Christian but I also wanted to learn about other religions and I learned about Africa and its culture or the Ghanaian culture. And from there I started working with uh, people who I call change leaders, mainly from Northern Ghana. And I wanted to work together with them in building the Africa that they envisioned for themselves. And Richmond Bash, the founder of Hausa Television, is one of these change leaders. And that is why I'm here today, um, also to um, show how I am connected to Hausa Television. And Hausa Television on its turn is connected to you, because that is why uh, Hausa Television is present. Yes. And uh, the reason that I started working with Richmond is that I noticed that he is someone with a, with a vision. He had a vision on Africa. And he believes, and I believe that together with him, that we can build our own African identity, your own African identity. And what I liked a lot is that uh, Richmond sees how the Hausa language can connect people in the countries itself, throughout the continent, and also all over the world. And I believe in that. I believe in people who are connected in creating a better and brighter world for all of us. And what I learned is that Nigeria is one of the countries where they speak the Hausa language. A lot of people speak it, yes. And Hausa is also helping me in Northern Ghana because um, I move in the different regions. And when I'm in Tamale, I need to speak Dagbanli. When I'm in Upper East, I need to speak um, Frafra. And when I'm in Upper West, where I live now, I speak Wali. So I have to learn a lot of languages and I'm not managing to learn all of them. So that is where Hausa is also uh, helpful for me as well because a lot of people do speak Hausa. Yes. So I'm very happy that Hausa Television also focuses on education in the Hausa language. Also to, to make sure that the language is preserved for the future, for the children or for future generations. So I hope to be an example one day of someone from somewhere in the world speaking the Hausa language. Yes. <laughs> Then um, Hausa Television, it is, it is growing. It is growing step by step, year by year. And um, I want to see it grow more. I want to see many, many, many more people connected to Hausa Television, to the Hausa language, to the African culture, the African ad identity, to show the true Africa, as I also learned to know it whilst being here. And I hope that you can support 
house that television in your own ways um, to make it grow, to m help um, house that television to reach more people in your own communities and far beyond. And we can do that by subscribing to house that television or also watching the videos that they are having on Facebook. I don't want to make this a commercial <laughs> uh, meeting, so that is where it stopped for me. But uh, yeah, please, I, I do hope uh, and wish that you can be of support to Hausa Television and together we can um, yeah, build it uh, across the world. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Eh ina ga ni dane na Alhaji Salu sunana Muhammad Mudassir muna tare da tashin Hausa Television to a sauke dai abinda ta fada shine bayan ta kaddamar da kanta tace shekarunta 12 da ta karanta wani littafi game da wani mutum na Afrika da ake ce makunta kinte yanda aka kama shi yana bawa har ya tashi shi ma wata ran ya kai wani masayi to sai ta fahimci kaman ya za ta iya ta zo Afrika ta zo ita kuma ta kawo na ta gudunmuwa saboda canza yanda Afrika yake a ce gobe mu ma mun kai masayin da turawa suke wurin ci gaban mu na lamari na karatun mu ne na zamantakewa mu ne da wayansu ababa to bayan ta zo sai ta fahimci kaman shi wannan mai dokan mu kamara a yanzu shine wanda ya kafa wannan tasha ta Hausa Television sai ta ga kamar ra'ayinta da ra'ayin shi daidai ne to abinda yasa ita kuma ta shigo cikin tashin Hausa Television kenan saboda ta tallafa mana ku ma za ku iya ku tallafa mana a gorgodo yanda za a Hausa Television mu duka za mu ci amfanin shi wata ran gado mu duka ne ba na ta bane in yawa Hausa Television ya zaunu to mu ma za mu ci amfanin shi yara mu ma za su zo su ci amfanin shi wata ran tace tana fatan in mu duka mun kokarta mun follow Hausa Television kan Facebook muka subscribe kan YouTube muka duduba videos mu da muke da shi mu ma za mu kokarta in muna da buki ne in muna da aure suna wani abu dai za mu kira tashin Hausa Television saboda ci gaban mu duka sa'an nan ta yi ma jama'a godiya da yau muka bata wannan dama ta zo ta yi magana da mu kuma tana murna da haduwa da arewa ta yi kuma wannan kungiya addu'a ta ce Allah ya zauna da mu lafiya Allah sa kuma yanda muke yau gobe mu fi haka ina ga gurguje abinda ta fada kenan wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Television.